Hello everyone, I will present our paper titled Brother, Special Temporal Non-Autoregressive Trajectory Prediction Transformer. I'm Nina Ashaji and this work was done in the Stellantis company and the Area Research Institute under the Open Lab AI collaboration with my colleagues Tierno Barry, Thibaut Foucray, Julien Moreau, François Ayoun and François Charpier. We will first define the pedestrian trajectory prediction problem that we are working on. Then, we will have a taste about the state-of-the-art work in this field. Later, we will go through the proposed architecture and the attributed results. Finally, we will present our study on the non autoregressive trajectory prediction problem and how it's related to our results. In the multi-agent prediction framework, we will have an observation scene with multiple pedestrians along a time horizon T. The output will be the 2D predicted trajectory for each of the pedestrians. We should note here that these scenes are dynamic so that a pedestrian can appear and disappear during the observation. Also, different scenes can have a different number of pedestrians and finally, the environment may change from one scene into another. Our aim is to generate the predicted trajectories by modeling the temporal and social interactions between the pedestrians. This will require two main steps, modeling the spatial temporal behavior first and then find the best decoding strategy to generate the trajectories. In this work, we are using the well-known ATHUCY datasets and we adopt the leave one out cross-validation strategy during the results evaluation. In the state of the art, previous works have focused largely on modeling the agent's behavior. Using transformer networks to model the temporal dependencies instead of STMs has shown a lot of improvement in the field, such as the transformer TF paper. However, the social and interaction-based modeling was missing in this paper. Recently, Agent Former paper has introduced a transformer model for the spatial temporal behavior modeling. In their model, they will learn the dependency between all agents at all time steps. The advantage is that an agent I at time step T can influence another agent G at another time step T prime. They argue that this solution is optimal and they propose to flatten the input of the attention module to take the input states of all agents at all time steps. However, the complexity of an attention module is quadratic with respect to the input lengths. Thus, flattening the inputs will induce a very high motor complexity, especially with a large number of agents in the scene. In our paper, we propose to use a divided attention module, where the input states will pass into a temporal and spatial attention module separately, and then will be aggregated into the output states. This attention module can be seen as a sparse graph, where each of the agents is connected with the other agents at the same time step t instead of all time steps. If we compare this solution to the agent former merged attention solution, we can see that the merged attention constitutes a fully connected graph. The complexity of our module is less than the merged attention module in both inference time and memory. The decrease in the model complexity in our architecture is the result of the added inductive bias which restricts the attention field. The question of whenever this inductive bias is also beneficial for the prediction accuracy will be answered later. Another axis we focused on in this paper is the decoding strategy for trajectory generation. The transformer model is composed of an encoder and decoder blocks, each of them composed of multiple attention layers. When using these models, the well-known strategy is to use the teacher forcing techniques by giving the target states as input to the decoder during training, and then to use a fully autoregressive technique during testing by passing the model own predictions as input. Using teacher forcing in the training mode will accelerate the training since the model can make use of the parallelization advantage. However, during testing, the model will suffer from the exposure bias problem. The exposure bias problem is defined by the shift in the distribution between the training and testing mode. The shift is due to the error accumulation on the model own predictions instead of using the ground truth as input. As a possible solution to this problem, some works such as Agent Former apply autoregressive decoding during training and testing. This will eliminate the exposure bias problem but at the cost of a slow training. However, in both cases, 
the autoregressive decoding strategy will be used during inference mode, which will induce a large inference time. In our paper, we wanted to take advantage of the parallelization power of transformers during inference and the training mode, but without suffering from the exposure bias problem. To this end, we propose to adapt a new technique that was introduced recently in the object detection research. During the decoding stage, we will pass a learnable queries vector to the decoder. This vector will be initialized randomly and then optimized along the model. In this way, the decoder will take the learnable queries with the same dimension as the output states alongside the memory vector from the encoder in order to generate in a parallel way, the output trajectories for all agents at all time steps in a one-shot strategy. This model is a non-autoregressive model that can predict the whole future sequence without conditioning on its own predictions. Thus, by, by avoiding the, the iterative process during inference, the complexity of this parallel decoder is less than the autoregressive decoder. Also, this model will not suffer from the exposure bias problem since the data distribution will remain the same during training and testing. The proposed decoding strategy in the prediction model was inspired by the tether model introduced recently for object detection. Their idea was to adopt an end-to-end -end learning that can replace the handcrafted anchor-based detections in the state-of-the-art detection models such as faster RCN and architecture. In this way, the optimized learnable queries will propose the implicit anchor positions and detect the objects accurately. In our prediction-based model, the learnable queries will learn in end-to-end -end way the key locations or what we can consider the goal location of the pedestrians in the scene. Then, using the memory vector from the temporal and interaction-based encoder, we can regress our model encodings in order to predict the 2D trajectory for each of the pedestrians up to a prediction horizon T. The final proposed architecture is called the Pretter, and it combines the divided spatial temporal modeling and the parallel decoding strategy in order to predict the future stage of each agent in the scene. We have seen so far that this architecture has less complexity both on the modeling and decoding side. In the next step, we will see if it's also advantages on the metrics evaluation side. We evaluated the models on the ETH UCY benchmark using the average displacement error and final displacement error as metrics. We compared our models with the LSTM based baselines, the TF transformer model and the agent former model that use transformer based architectures. We can see in the last row that our Pretter model that uses the divided attention and the parallel decoding strategy outperformed previous state-of-the-art models. In addition, we tested the divided attention module with an autoregressive decoding strategy. This has outperformed previous models on the FDE score, showing the advantage of the added inductive bias, and at the same time showing that the parallel decoding strategy is beneficial not only for complexity reduction, but also for the prediction accuracy enhancement. Finally, we compared the training and inference speed up with other variants. We can see that the divided attention is twice faster than the merged attention, and that the full model with the parallel decoding is 11 times faster than the autoregressive models. The usage of the parallel decoding strategy has shown that it can reduce the model complexity without sacrificing the model accuracy. In fact, the model accuracy were even better. This finding pushed us to raise the question about the nature of the trajectory prediction as a task or as a problem. Is it a non-autoregressive or an autoregressive task? Recently, a model called Comma was introduced in order to quantify how much a task is non-autoregressive. However, this model was only used in the temporal domain and it was tested on natural language processing tasks. We extended this model to the spatial temporal domain which we call ST comma model. The idea is to apply this model to the trajectory prediction task in order to find out how much the trajectory prediction task is a non-autoregressive problem. To measure how much task is non-autoregressive, we will first randomly mask a portion of the target sequence states. Then, the model should reconstruct the mask time step using the source sequence and the target sequence values. Next, 
will calculate how much attention to the model gives to the input states in order to reconstruct the masked tokens. This is called the target to source dependency. Likewise, we will calculate the attention rate given to the other targets in order to reconstruct the mask token. This is called the target to target dependency. Then, when reconstructing the mask tokens, if the model gives on average more attention to the source instead of the target under different masking probability ratios, then this problem tends to be a non autoregressive problem. This measure is called R of P, standing for the attention to target density ratio for a masking probability P. If R of P is low, then the problem tends to be a non autoregressive problem. So we calculated R of P for the trajectory prediction task, and we find out that the score of this task is lower than many other tasks that were equally solved using non autoregressive models. These findings justify the good accuracy results when using the Preter non autoregressive model from a different perspective. Finally, we can conclude that using the sparse divided attention module is less expensive and more expressive than the fully connected module. Also, the pedestrian trajectory prediction task can be solved using a non autoregressive module that degrees the inference time without sacrificing the prediction accuracy. As a perspective, we plan to extend this promising model to the multimodal case, where we predict multiple valid trajectories for each of the agents. Thank you for your attention. Do not hesitate to ask any questions.